Good day my schoolers, welcome to my school channel. My name is Alexandra. So in this video, we'll be solving the JAM CBT pass question for the subject government year 2021. Please stay with us, do not go anywhere and we'll be right back. Welcome back to my school channel. So in this video, we'll be attempting question 1 to 20. So we'll begin with question 1. The Nigerian's head of government in 1963 was Dash. The answer to this question is option C, Alhaji Abubakar Tafawa Balewa. Okay, so at this, at this time, he was the head of government and he was the head of government from 1912 to 1966. Do not forget that the head of government is also called the prime minister why Dr. Onamdi Azikwe was at that time the president and the president at, at that time 1963 was functioning as the ceremonial head of state. Okay, so Dr. Onamdi Azikwe was the head of the state or similarly to the governor general. Okay, so it was just a ceremonial title. So the answer to this question is option C, Alhaji Abubakar Tafawa Baliwa. Question 2. Who reorganized the Nigeria's four region into 12 states in May 1967? The answer to this question is General Yakubu Gowan. So out of the four existing regions, which include the north, the east, the west, and the midwest, okay, Yakubu Gowan created 12 states from the existing four regions. So the answer to this question is option A, General Yakubu Gowan. Question 3. Government by the wealthy is known as Dash. The answer to this question is plutocracy. So plutocracy is the form of government by the wealthy. Democracy is a form of government in which the people have the authority to choose their um, government officials to decide their legislation. Okay, so when we think of oligarchy, we think of a few people in control. Uh, the power is vested in the hands of a few. Aristocracy, a form of government in which the best or the noble rule okay it's the government by the noble or the best so option b remains the answer to this question question four professor ibrahim gambari was a special assistant to the united nations secretary general on dash the answer to this question is african affairs now first and foremost ibrahim gambari has attained several leadership positions from the regional to the national and then to the international level. Now specifically for United Nations, it was first the um, um, United Nations under um, Secretary General from 1995 to 2005 under the leadership of Kofi Annan, who was the, uh, the Secretary General at that period. Okay, So the under Secretary General was rated as the third um, highest rank in the United Nations. After the Gen Secretary General, we have the Deputy, Deputy Secretary General, and then we have the Under um, Secretary General. So at that time, it was not just the Under Secretary General, it was also the first special advisor on African affairs. So he had two um, functions, okay, the Under Secretary General and a, the first special advisor on African affairs. So what was his function at that period? His function was to promote the United Nations international support for the African development. So basically African um, affairs. So the answer to this question is option B, African affairs. Later on, from 2005 to 2007, it was just the Under Secretary General and there he focused on political affairs. So the answer to this question remains option B, African affairs. Question 5. Which of the following is a founding member of OPEC? Now, OPEC was established in the year 1960, September precisely 1960, and it had five founding members. Okay, and they include Venezuela, Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, and Saudi Arabia. So from the options, we see that Venezuela is the answer to this question. Option C is the correct answer to this question. Question 6. The main function of the Code of Conduct Bureau is to dash. The answer to this question is option B, ensure 
accountability in government business. Now, the Code of Conduct Bureau, which can also be called CCB, was established in the year 1979 um, during the Second Republic and after the military rule, 13 years of military rule. So it was established to ensure that there is adequate accountability of the government um, business. So the answer to this question remains option B. Question 7. The two military coups that toppled civilian regimes in Nigeria were those of Daesh. Okay, so this question talks about the two military coups that overthrew the civilian government. We had coup that overthrew military government, okay, but we are concentrating on the military coup that overthrew the civilian government. Now, the answer to this question is option D. The January 1966 coup d'etat actually overthrew um, Alaji Tafa Balewa and the uh, um, 1983 um, coup d'etat also overthrew Shehu Shagari's civilian regime. So option D is the correct answer to this question. Do you know that you can take practice questions with our simulated jam CBT pass questions? Yes, you can. All you need to do is you click on the link in the description below, which takes you to the My School website. There, you have to download My School Mobile app for your Android phones and My School software for your computers and laptops. Please go ahead and download and start practicing. Now, moving on to question eight. Under the 1999 Constitution of Nigeria, the power to create local government is vested in the Dash. The answer to this question is option A, the State Assembly. Now, the State Assembly had the power to create local government under the 1999 Constitution. So, the 1999 Constitution made provisions for the creation of states by the State Assembly. So, option A is the correct answer to this question. I believe you are enjoying this content. Please do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, and lastly, tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos. Question 9. The first Nigerian constitution to provide um, for the fundamental objectives and directive principle of the state policy was the DASH. The answer is the Second Republic Constitution, which is the 1979 constitution. Option B, therefore, is the correct answer to this question. Question 10. The fees collected by local governments at motor parks represent? The answer to this question is levies. Levies refers to the charge imposed on something. So in this case, the charge imposed on motor or motor parks. Okay, so when we talk about fines, fines are a um, penalty of uh, money that has to be paid as a punishment for a particular crime. So the answer to this question remains option D, levies. Question 11. The Ibadan Conference of 1950 was convened to discuss the provisions of the DASH. The answer to this question is the Mark Fassim Constitution. Now, what we had prior to the 1950, the 1950 conference was the 1946 Constitution. So the Ibadan Conference was to discuss the re or review the 1946 Richard Constitution and to deliberate on the new provisions and what they will be improving on. And that bettered or gave rise to the Mark Fassim Constitution of 1951. Question 12, the absence of the rule of law in government will bring about Dash. Okay, so in this question, we want to know what will happen when um, the rule of law is absent in a country or in a state. Okay, the answer to this question is human right abuse. First and foremost, we need to understand what rule of law is. Rule of law is the supremacy of law over everyone. So both the people in government or the citizens in general, okay? So it, it provides or the provision of the rule of law contains the supremacy of law, the equality of um, the law, and the existence of fundamental human rights. Okay, so once, once the rule of law is absent, then there's no equality, there's no human rights, there's no supremacy of law. So option A is the correct answer to this question. Question 13. The economic community of West African states has made progress in the area of DASH. The answer to this question is option A, increased trade among members. Okay, so there were production of different types of goods and products. ECOWAS encouraged the production of different um, goods and products and is circulated among um, the member states, that is the members making up ECOWAS itself, and it helped in the growth and the expansion of markets of each member state. So these members are the members that make up the economic 
community of West African states? Option A is the correct answer and the best answer to this question. Question 14. Nigeria's withdrawal from the Edinburgh Commonwealth Games in July 1986 was in protest against British Dash. Option A, failure to impose sanctions on South Africa. This is the correct answer to this question, option A. So, um, with Nigerians withdraw, as a withdraw from the Commonwealth Games as a protest against British because the British refused to impose sanction or restriction on South Africa for its apartheid um, policy. The poli apartheid system had spread all over South Africa. It was prevailing in South Africa and um, Nigerians felt bad about it. And in a way to protest against it, they feel, okay, the British should do something about it. But then they still invite Nigerians to, to partake in the Commonwealth Games, so which was what was hypocritical in a way and so they withdrew, withdrew from the game so option a is the correct answer to this question question 15 during the civil war the major power that expressed moral support for biafra's self-determination was dash okay so the civil war was between 1967 to 1970 and this was a war between the easterners that is biafra and the nigerian government Okay, so while the United Kingdom and Soviet Union supported the federal government, France, Israel, and some other countries supported the Biafrans. Now, majorly, France was in support of the Biafran self-determination. So option C is the correct answer to this question. Question 16. That was the first Nigerian permanent representative to the United Nations. The answer to this question is option D, General Joseph Gaba. Now, he was appointed in the year 1984 as the permanent representative to the United Nations. So, option D is the correct answer to this question. Question 17. The Barclays Bank and the British Petroleum Company in Nigeria were nationalized in the late 70s for transacting business with Dash. Okay, so the Barclays Bank was transacting business with South Africa and because of the operation with South Africa, it was nationalized precisely in 1978. Okay, and this meant that they would stop receiving profits from Nigerian corporation. Also, the British Petroleum Company um, was nationalized also, and it meant that they would lose a lot of revenue from Nigeria. So the answer to this question is option B, South Africa. Are there questions you would like to ask? Please feel free to ask those questions by using the link in the description below, please click on this link. It, it takes you to the My School website there. You can ask as many questions as possible and solutions will be provided to you within a short period of time. Now moving on to question 18. The Muritala slash Obasanjo regime in Nigeria increased the number of states from Dash. Okay, so the answer to this question is option C, 12 to 19. Okay, so during the um, Muritala slash Obasanjo regime, there was already 12 states created by Yakubu Gohan. So what Muritala did was to add seven more to this existing 12. So 12 plus seven, that's 19. Okay, so afterwards, after Muritala died, Obasanjo came into power and he didn't create any states. Then after Obasanjo, we had General Ibrahim Babangida who created or added two more states and afterwards he added 10. And then General Sonny Abasha added the last six. So the answer to this question is option C. 12 to 19. Are there better steps, solutions, or explanations to any of this question? Please feel free to use the comment section below. Indicate the question and the solutions you would like to share. Question 19. The Dash is responsible for advising the President of Nigeria on the sovereignty and territorial integrity of the country. The answer to this question is option A. National Defense Council. So NDC has been in existence since 1979 and what it does is to advise the president on matters relating to defense, to sovereignty and to the territorial integrity of the country. So our answer remains option A, National Defense Council. Question 20. The Independent National Electoral Commission has the power to prepare and maintain the registers of DASH. Okay, so INEC was established in the 1999 constitution to basically um, organize elections. And what they do is to review and update voters' register. Okay, so the answer to this question is option D, voters. 
you've come to the end of this amazing segment i believe it was impactful please do not forget to hit the like button click on the subscribe button and lastly tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos